So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you the algorithm for bright first search for a graph and also its implementation in Python. We are going to be using this graph as an example and later we are going to maybe also do the same thing, a bright first search for a tree. For now, let's do it for a graph and let's see how it plays out. The first thing you, the first thing you need to know is that bright first search algorithm have to be implemented using two objects, one a queue and two a list or a set. So this is how the algorithm goes. And remember in bread first search, you want to take a root node, you want to start from somewhere, let's say you want to start from this root, and you want to search the children or the nodes connecting that particular root, and later you move one step, search all the nodes of this one, go this way, search all the children, and in that way. I think that used to be clearer when we talk about a tree. So you want to search here, then do this line or this order, and do this order, and in that way, in, in a level order manner. So in that way, that guarantees you can traverse all the nodes of this graph. In my previous lesson, I explained to you that a graph is represented using an adjacency matrix or an adjacency list. An example of adjacency list is what you see here. You have a node and you have a connected node. For node A, the connected nodes are B and C. For node C, the connect for node B, the connected nodes are A and D. For node C, the connected nodes are A and B, and so on. So once you have this adjacency list here, you have a graph. So we have this graph. I want to traverse this graph and print out all the nodes in a bright first search manner. Now here is how the algorithm goes. You first need to maintain a queue and then you need a list. So let's say we have our queue like this. We have a queue and we want to, I mean, kind of make uh, cells here. So we want to start from the roots and the root is A, right? And okay, before I continue, we also need a list. Okay, this list will not be will not be holding any duplicates. Okay, so in case of a list, let's just allow it just like this. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is you visit, you come to this node. You, this is your root node. You have to choose your root node. And for item in the root node, you simply push it onto the queue. So these are roots. So this is the starting point. The starting point says push your root node or enqueue your root node on your root node onto the queue. Okay, so whatever is in the queue now, you start popping what is in the queue. Before you pop, you want to check the children of that node. So we want to start from A. I want to check the children of A or the nodes connecting A, and that is B and C. So simply add them to the queue to be visited, B and C. And once you've added the children, you have to dequeue it and add it to the list. And the next thing you want to do is move one step into the queue. So this time you are just iterating the queue. So go to B. B has children to be A and D. Okay? So B has children to be A and D, and we simply add them to the queue, A and D, and then we are going to pop B or the queue B from the queue and add it to the list. And we move to the next item in the queue, which is C. C have children A and D, right? A and D are already uh, in the queue, so we don't the queue, we have to uh, leave them and then we the queue C and add it onto the list. And we go now to, oh, we made a mistake. So this A actually uh, is, was already in the queue. So A should not be there. So it's just D. All right, so D has a child E. So we are going to add E to the queue and the queue D. And then we move to E. E does not have any child. So we are going to dequeue it and add it to the list. So this is basically the result of the breakfast search traversal of this graph. Let's now implement it in Python exactly the way I explained it. So to be able to create a queue in Python, we are going to import collections. 
So collections gives us an object called the queue. So I'm going to say, first I'm going to write a function bfs that's going to take bfs. This is going to take a graph g and also it's going to take a root, uh, a root element root. So I want to start by creating a, a queue. So I'm going to say queue is equal to collections.dq and we want to give it one uh, root element that is going to be added to the queue. So this root element has to be added to the queue exactly the way I told you. And then we need a list of visited nodes. So this visited nodes uh, has to be a list. It could also be a set because they need not to be duplicate inside this visited uh, list of items. And this is this list right here. So once you visit it, you are going to add it to the list. All right, so we are going to now begin iterating on our queue. So I'm going to say while the queue contains items, so while queue is not empty, we are going to grab one item from the queue and add it to the list. We can add it to the list before we check the children or we can do otherwise. So now we want to take this item from the queue uh, and check what the adjacent nodes are. So the best thing to do is we have to take it from the queue. So we have to pop it. So I'm going to call it node is equal to queue dots pop left is going to give us this item that's coming from the queue. Okay, we are going to add this node to the set or to the list of items, the visited items. Now, this node, we are going to add it to the list of visited items, that is fine. So I'm going to simply say, if uh, this node not, if this node not in visited, we are going to add it to the visited. So I'm going to say visited.append node. Okay, that's fine. Now we've taken this A right here, we've taken this A and added it to this, this place. Now I want to now take the children of A, that is the adjacent nodes, this B and C here is what we want to take. So this B and C could be, made, could, could be many of them because it's not guaranteed that there's only two nodes connecting. So we need a for loop to loop through all the children of A. So I'm going to start a for loop right here. I'm going to say for item in G node. Now G is this graph and node is A. So graph, you provide it with a key and it's going to give you the values here. So G node gives us the value B and C. So we are going to now say, I'm going to now add each of these items onto the the, the queue, provided they have not been visited, we are going to add them to the queue because it's possible they are visited beforehand. So I'm going to say if item not in visited again, just like we did before, we are going to simply add it to the to the queue. So I'm going to enqueue those two children uh, that we the two children that we got from the adjacency list here. So Q dot append, and we are going to now append the item. So this is basically it. That is it. So at the end of the day, we are going to just print visited. I meaning that means that we are going to print out this list, and there is a list of visited nodes we are going to print out. So this is basically bright first search algorithm. Uh, we just wrote. So let's try it out to see if it works. So I'm going to just say BFS, BF, BFS and give it the graph. I'm, I'm going to give it this graph here, this graph here. So I'm going to give it this graph and give it a starting node to be A. And if I run this code now, you can see it prints out A, B, C, D, E, exactly the way we want it. Now I'm going to give you an assignment. Please try to give a different node. For instance, give it B or give it E 
and try to do this thing exactly with the same way we did it and then print it out and, and verify that it works. I'd like to thank you for being there. I told you that in the next part, we are now going to do exactly the same thing. We are going to run the same algorithm, but this time for a tree. I remain kind to the genius and I'm always there for you. And please remember to subscribe to my channel and also leave me a comment if this has been informative for you.